Eva Trades. Hello and welcome. This is the Risk Management Simulation Series, and we're going to take a look at some charts. But first, let's take a look at the progress, and we'll uh, also go over the game rules. Here we go. Day trading is risky, so make sure you practice in a simulator if you can, if you have access to one. I use Thinkorswim, and welcome to EVA Trades. Glad to have you here. This is a look at my progress so far. I missed a day back here. $542 is what I made back on October 28th, and I just realized this morning that, hey, I didn't put that in there. So where I thought I was red on the account, I am not, but very close. So you can see I had this nice move first thing. Big pullback. These were some uh, days here where I broke rules or made new rules. And then nice, nice move up. A little pullback here. So, you know, I yeah, one of these days, I don't remember which one. I, I didn't really break the rule. I just wasn't paying attention. So I did break the rule inadvertently. Um, but otherwise, I've been working hard at following the rules. They are, number one, daily max loss is $400. I can't take more positions to start... I can't take more than four positions to start the day. If I hit my daily goal of $200, I can keep trading if I want, if the market's hot. But if I hit my daily goal and I give back half of my profits, then I have to stop. And I can't take more positions than what my max loss would allow for. And my max loss, as shown in rule number one, is $400. So with that, let's take a look at the charts now. I have three of them I'm watching this morning. It is November 11th in the simulator as I push play. And this simulator series is just to practice risk management. It's solely focused on that, creating rules, changing them as we go along. And later on this morning, I will be trading in the market for real. But right now we're doing some simulator videos. So five minute time frame, PSNY, high of the move. 594, we pulled back, formed a higher low, had a bounce, got a lower high, and now we have a lower low right here. But no follow through yet. We'll see if the bulls can hold on at 532 right here, $5.32. That's the level that we want to hold on to. It is looking rather bearish, I must say. If we look at the larger time frame, and there we go, breaking through that support. There's almost an inside bar bear break. That's not quite an inside bar. I thought it was at first glance. So basically, it's just healthy consolidation here on the 15-minute time frame. Where will we pull back to is the question. We didn't really put in a good support on the way up, I don't think, other than this one. But we have a support down here. That's a long ways below us. I don't think I'd want to trade it way down there. You have psychological support at $5. Now, there is a pivot of sorts here where you can see we finally broke I'd say about yeah you know, around right around five bucks there so a potential bounce off of that but I still you know we're trading below the VWAP so right now as we're breaking down um, you see in the one minute here definitely closing below that support um, we'll see what happens here but uh, bears want to see a little more follow through and then get a lower high and another lower low because we do have a one minute downtrend here. Bulls, on the other hand, would love to be able to buy this dip and hold that support of 532 and get this price to go back up. So other than PSNY, there really wasn't much else to look at. But VS, you know, um, I, there is some potential probably. I don't typically look at these type of stocks. Um, we have a double bottom almost at 350 with uh, two and a half minutes to go till the market opens. So bulls put in a higher low, tried for a higher high, couldn't even get up there and got rejected and now failing here pretty good. So on the one minute time, on the 15 minute time frame, uh, we're just looking for a lower high. Anything below 474 is a lower high for these bears. And bears want to top out maybe around four dollars. We might see a little little higher move than that, depending on how strong or weak it is. We do have a bear flag here on the 15 minutes so far. Uh, you can see the bulls trying to break out here. We'll see if the bears can uh, keep pushing that price down. 
on the five minute time frame. Yeah, a lot, a lot of chop, not a lot of volume. So for one, I need to see the volume come in. Bulls want to hold 396. I'm sorry, 356. We'll see. This is a classic bear flag, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, DOCS, uh, lower highs and lower lows on the five minute time frame. Uh, kind of the same story, guys. Uh, if I'm looking at the larger time frame, the must hold support, if I can get that line to draw, is $30.12. And we're there right now. You can see that on the 15 minute here. So bears giving themselves enough room that they could actually bounce from here and form a lower high and then get a lower low to break that support. So one minute to go till the market opens. I don't expect to trade VS or DOCS, but if the volume comes in and we start to see it moving up, you know, who knows? We have this level to watch, 575, uh, 375, and over here, don't know yet. We're back testing 556 on VS. So far, bulls holding up here at 532 level, not breaking, not not uh, giving up yet. And bulls buying the dip. There's a nice bounce. Anything below 542 on the one minute is a lower high. And of course, 522 is the support on that one minute time frame. So the market is open now. I know why I can't see. Haha. <laughs> every time, <laughs> almost every time I do that. I'll look at my stop loss parameters. I'm checking candle ranges. What is the range of this first one minute candle? And is my stop loss going to be far enough away if I get into a trade? Can't trade the first one minute, but 20 more seconds, that'll change. We got 17 cents on that candle range. I think I'll change my stop loss parameter to 15 cents. Yeah, I don't know. Trading below the VWAP. I'm going to give it her give her a shot here. See if we can get above 550. I'm selling half right there. Sell the other half. I sell it quick because we're below the VWAP and I don't trust it below the VWAP. If I'd been quick enough, I could have booked a little more profit, but I am up $86. You can see VS and DOCS giving it up there. So kind of keep in mind, bears looking for a lower high and a lower low to continue this downtrend on the five minute time frame. That's uh, one another reason why I'm a little hesitant to hold this. Anything below 572 is a higher low on the five minute. So I'll be watching the one minute time frame for maybe a trend change back to the bulls to tell us that this might be the bottom, but I'm not expecting that. We'll see. Bulls on the one minute want to hold 522. And the high of day is up at 558. So you can see the, the larger time frames I'm giving it up here on VS and DOCS on the hourly time frame. Definitely lower high, lower low now on the hourly and a lower high and lower low on the hourly on VS. And so far, this 15 minute candle here with the breakout, but failure. But like we said, bulls want to hold 522 and turn this candle back to green. First clue of a trend change, or the, our first clue of a 
of that happening would be a trend change on the one minute time frame. Why, right now we've pulled back enough on the one minute that I wouldn't expect to break straight through 558. I would expect more of an equilibrium if we do bounce from here to top out somewhere around the VWAP, the volume weighted average price. That's that white dotted line. And then the pull back for a higher low and then get that higher high and a break through 558. Expecting a bounce here for the bulls. We're just looking for a lower high on VS. I do like the volume here, declining volume on that pullback on PSNY. Keeping a close eye on these two over here. If the volume starts to come in on one of them, you just never know. PSNY, it's tempting to want to jump in here, but remember, I'm looking for that lower high. I'm buying VS there. I'm going to see if we shoot back up again. Oops, I'm selling it but not making much. I'm going to try it again. It's got a spread on it. Sell it there. So that's what I meant by I'm watching it. See if we get something, but I'm not holding it. Now, if we break 375 and hold, that might be a different story for me. But right now, I'm not going to hold this. I like the volume coming in. That's pretty nice. See, temporarily, we're topping out on the one minute here. Oh, look at that break on PSNY. Probably a good dip trade opportunity there off of 522. You can see the bulls did buy the dip, so... See what happens. That's a pretty big red candle. Anybody left holding a bullish position must be shaking in their boots probably right about now. Wondering if they should be holding. I know I would be. You're like, shit, I don't know. I should probably get out of here. So right now I'm up about $140. I need another 50 or so to hit my daily goal. I'm going to be very careful. I don't want to give back 100. So I think at this point, I'm just going to say that if I do get into a position, it's going to be a one position kind of thing. So that if I take a loss, I will lose 100, but I could stop trading and still be green on the day. I think that's my goal. That all depends, too, on what the market starts to look like here. We have a high of day, well, high of pre-market, high of day there. I'll put my line here at 31.11. So far, not breaking down here. VS. See if we get a little more on DOCS here. I'm a little nervous about getting stopped out on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of it there. I'm gonna buy VS instead. Took a small loss on DOCS to get into VS. A lot of S's, uh oh. I don't like the look of that, but we'll see. See if it breaks through. Needs to break 372. I'll sell it there. <clears throat> I'm trying DOCS again, but... My plan has changed from before, from what I was going to do. I took a $100 loss there. I'm still looking for VS to make a move.
A lot of back and forth on it. Okay, I'm just gonna sell it there. So I didn't make any progress. I'm still I'm still sitting at about 160 on the day. All right, I'm gonna try DOCS again. <laughs> and every time I try it, it doesn't seem to wanna hold up. Buy a dip on VS now. It's a risky trade, could put me red on the day. Whoops. Gosh, I was gonna try to sell it and I just I just ran out of time there. I'm trying to manage multiple trades at a time and it's not working so well for me. There's $4, breaking through four, selling right there. Whew, finally got it. Nope, shouldn't have took that last trade, but that's okay. So I was at my daily goal, I gave back half, so that means I have to stop. And look at that drop. So glad I used stop losses, because you imagine being caught in that, and then it got it's getting it's halted, going down right now. Would not want to be caught up in that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I was at my daily goal. I gave back half. I'm still sitting pretty good on the day. I think I'm st actually still at my daily goal. 112 plus 86 plus 12. I'm sitting at $210. I mean, I could technically keep trading if I wanted. But coming up to this $31 level, um, no, I think that's going to be it for me. It's It's been kind of a struggle for me today. And I think I want to stop right there. This one looks like it's probably going to go, but I'm, I would want to see this pull back first. We've got this high and this low, and now we I want to see a lower high and then form a higher low before we break out over 31.11. So... I wouldn't get into it until we pull back. Now I know it could be strong and we could just break right through, but you gotta be careful when they break right through because they can oftentimes come crashing right back down if they don't consolidate first before breaking. So, I mean, I could watch this for a second and if I do get a flush down all of a sudden, I could jump in that. I see a bounce opportunity here on PSNY. Watching over here, DOCS for, for that flush. I'm just gonna sell um, PSNY there for small profit. Didn't make much. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to my guns and knock off for the day. So let me re redo this here, 93. All right, I'm up $217 on the day, and that's gonna do it for me, so that'll that'll give me a little bit more cushion here. This is November 11th, $210, so I did, or 217. So I followed the rules. At one point, I did get in, okay, I did get in with a little more risk than I should have, where if I'd gotten stopped out, I would have gone red on the day, so I didn't quite follow the rules. Need to work on that but right now. Nice little move here. So I'm up 422. It's not a lot for 15 days, but you know, um, I got a lot to overcome here. So we'll see how it goes in the next one. Hope you'll join me for that. Take care of yourself. One more look at the charts, see what it's doing. Not much change. Take care. Bye bye.